This is just going to be a short tutorial. I started cleaning my brushes and I thought, you know what? Maybe I need to show it. This is what I use to clean my brushes. It's Cinema Scents in a blue bottle. It's a makeup brush cleaner. It's quick drying. You don't have to rinse it. And then you buy their little cup that's metal and it's got that on it. And keep it in it. And then what you do is you just dip, you use a dry towel, and you drip your, you dip your dirty brush in it, pull it out, shake off the excess, and then you just start swirling it around in the direction of the bristles, and it comes clean. Then you just lay it out. And I just let mine dry overnight. Um, this is the way I do it. There's other uh, ways of doing it. Real Techniques has got a um, gel. Um formula that you can buy at Walmart, CVS, Target, um, see who else has it. Um, just in your brush stores where they've got brushes. I'm going to have to put some more cleaner down in here. Um, but what's on here I've done cleaned and then I thought, well, maybe I need to do a little bit of a tutorial. I'm not going to show you my face. I've done got my makeup off and I'm kind of in my lounging pajamas. Um, just because it's late afternoon and I'm going to crawl up in bed and finish reading my book. Plus, i got my mouth guard in. Nobody wants to see that. I don't even want to see that. But you just use it. This is six months old. You just pour whatever you think you're going to use. I normally fill it almost up because I figured all my brushes probably needed to be cleaned. And I'm just going to leave it right there. I'm going to start on my um, brand br my brushes that are the BS Small eyeshadow brushes. And then they look brand new. Um, I mean, there's this is an elf brush. You can tell the dirt on it and stuff. I'm just going to dip it in there and then just wipe it on a towel. And then you can see that it comes back to life. It's got the brown that it would be when you buy it in the store. These I'm going to set up into this little container right here just because they don't have to technically lay and dry I just do these are the pink ones that I got off Amazon and then I went ham and got a whole bunch of Morphe's and I like the Morphe brushes of course I still grab these I mean I use these there's your wipe back on your tips uh, this is a elf shadow C brush this is a, a crease brush I used it on Maddie, so I'm just going to clean it right up. It's as black as black could be, like the day you bought it. And I mean, you can clean it and then go right to using it uh, if you wanted to. There's, you can tell the the pigment from the eyeshadows coming off. I normally try to clean my brushes if I do a lot of tutorials or if I do a lot of makeup at least every two weeks. Uh, if I do a lot of tutorials, it's a, a week I do them. The eyeshadow brushes doesn't get it as much as the face brushes because um, just the bristles are a lot less of an issue versus, you know, say my Morphe brush. See, that pink really showed up. Um, this one's got a white tip on it also. I'll show you how it does. You just got to dip it down in there a little bit. You don't have to, like fully emerge it down into there and what was brown is now white or gray it's a grayish white 
what it is. But, um, and then I just let them dry. I don't air dry them. I mean, uh, hair dry them. Um, you can, if you have to, cool setting and probably about this far away from your, um, brush. Simply because if not, you're going to, if it's a synthetic brush, it's going to ruin the hairs. If it is, um, which I, all my brushes except for a couple are, um, synthetic. I got a few that is, um, see there's a the white back. Um, I got a few that is not synthetic and they're actually, um, ostrich type feathers or something like that. Lights back. Here's one that's brown. It's dark brown, which is the normal, and then the top, which is supposed to be white, brown. Go on back it. Swirl it around, back and forth it, up and down it. And we're white again. All your product is gone. This is an elf brush. I got a small uh, four ounce bottle of that to try first. And I used it and I was like, whoa, hello. Because I was using the Real Techniques. And if you don't have like thick brushes like my Morphe M439, then it'll work. Now this is a little eye pencil brush for, mess, uh, for eyeliner. And I used it on Madison the other day for her tutorial. So I know there's black on this. So I'm going to whirl it around, and the tip of it was supposed to be white, and as you've seen, it was black. Well, it's white again. So that's all those. Those are just my extra brushes I keep on my desk, or on my table for when I'm filming for, if I need an extra fluffy brush for some reason. Uh, you can do your sponges and that kind of thing in it too. Um... This is a Morphe brush. This is the first Morphe brush I had. You can see the hairs are starting to come out of it. I have contacted Morphe about it. They are in process of sending me a new one. But I'm going to go ahead and clean this one just to show because I've already cleaned mine. Um, they don't know why the bristles have started coming out. They asked what cleansers I was using. I told them. And they said it still shouldn't have come out. That's a good cleanser. You know. But there you go. Looks brand new except for the hair that's coming out of it for it's shedding. So they're supposed to be shipping me um, a new one. Back, but that's what it looks like. And I've got it laying up here so that I don't get it mixed up with my other Morphe. But yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to go and go read and just kind of chill out for the rest of the evening. Josh gets off at 7, supposed to. Um, sometimes he has to work later. You know, it just depends. And you all have a good day or night wherever you are. And I'll talk to you in the next tutorial. Bye.